the new topic. And uh, I'm going to start by sharing my uh, screen with you. <clears throat> and the topic today is a uh, weak jump over call. So let me just uh, start that up. Pass it into your screen. And that's what we're going to talk about today, um, a weak jump over call. And traditionally, a jump over call <clears throat> is used for a fairly good hand with about 12 to 16 points and a good six card suit. In fact, if you refer to my bidding sheet that I've um, uh, put out, that, that's what it shows there. I've highlighted there what, the, what a jump over call shows. So that's, if you like, the more conventional um, treatment of uh, jump over calls. But a lot of people nowadays, especially those playing duplicate, prefer to use a jump over call to show a weaker hand, a good six card suit and about six to ten points, very similar to an opening week two bid. And in fact, I recommend that if you play week twos, um, that you also think about playing weak jump over calls because they're um, very useful for the same reason. So we're going to have a look at what they are, how we defend against them, how you respond to them and um, talk about their advantages. <clears throat> so um, here's an example of a hand that is suitable for a weak jump over call. Um, suppose North has opened one heart. This is a hand with seven points, but a good six card spade suit that instead of maybe over calling one spade, you can over call two spades here. And you have to have the agreement with you and your partner that that is a weak jump over call. Otherwise, a jump <coughs> over call is quite a bit stronger than that. But if you've agreed to play weak jump over calls, then that's what that, uh, that would be a hand perfect for a two spade bid. And if we have a look at it, how the auction might continue, have a look at this from South's point of view. And tell me what you think South should bid with this hand. And unmute yourself if you like. Anyone like to um, suggest something? Three hearts. Three hearts. Oh. Sorry? Three hearts. Oh. Yeah, I mean, three hearts is a bit bold. Um, and I appreciate you'd like to bid something. Your your partner has only promised a four card heart suit, so you can't be quite certain that you have a heart bid. And a, a, and you'd like to bid something. If they just overcalled one spade, then I think I would probably bid two hearts, mm -hmm. showing six to nine points. But over two spades, they've taken away a lot of bidding space, and I may have difficulty um, finding a bid there. Um, you might decide to um, pass on this yeah. hand. Uh, and if you do, it's probably a good idea for West to actually raise the two spade bid to three spades. The reason for that is to get in the way of the opponents even further. It's very much as though East had opened with a weak two spade bid. And with the West hand here, you would raise it to three spades, not as an invitational bid, not even necessarily planning to make three spades, but just to get in the way of the opponents. And you behave the same here when you're responding to a weak jump over call. You have three spades, so you know you have a nine card bid. And the three spade bid here really gets in the way of North, because North will have difficulty knowing what to, what to bid here. Um, they've got 16 points, but their partner hasn't bid anything. So it's very hard not to uh, to know what to bid. And maybe North will pass, and maybe that will be the final contract. On this particular layout, um, four hearts can actually be made by North-South, or two spades could be made by East-West. In other words, they'd go down one if you left them, if they're playing in, the, in three spades. But that will be a much better score even going down one, than letting North South make uh, make game. Okay. Do Tony, can I ask? 
Yeah. Yeah. Is the whole intention of playing weak no trumps then, uh, sorry, a, a weak um, jump, over jump over call, is the whole intention of the convention to get in the way of the other people then? Well, yes, it, it's very right, much okay. like a preempt. Uh, yeah. And at the same time, it does have the advantage of, you know, defining your hand so that your partner with the right hand might, might go on. Although it's less likely that they'll be wanting to go on to gain in a situation like this, Given that the opponents have got one of them has got an opening hand, you still might have game, but but yes, it, it's more a disruptive bid, just like other preemptive bids. Tony, can I ask you something? Yes. If the opponent asks you um, yes. uh, to, to to the east, yes. What is to uh, spade means? Are you going to say preempt or weak on weak over call? Right. So. If I did two spades and the opponents asked me what does that mean, mm -hmm. what I should say is ask my partner. So <laughs> your in other words, your partner is the one who's meant to say what your bid is. And I'll come to this later, but weak jump over calls are not alertable. So when you bid two spades, your partner does not have to say anything. But if South wants to know. After yes, that okay. two spade bid, mm -hmm. he should ask, address his question to West, saying, what is a two spade bid? Yes. And West should say weak. Okay, okay. 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 Um, what about this one? Um, suppose it's gone um, one heart, two, oh yeah, this is, this is the same hand, but mm -hmm. with different bidding. Um, so this is the same four hands. If, if the bidding had been slightly different, if it had gone one heart, two spades, pass, if West doesn't bid three spades, maybe he thinks, I won't bother to raise it, I'll just bid two spades. Now he makes it easier for North to, um, to bid again. And North might well do something like double here. Now, if you and your partner are confident that a double of a low-level suit contract is the takeout, North will do very well to double here. That's not for penalties. That's saying, please bid something, partner. Because you have, as well as five hearts, you've got four diamonds and three clubs. And you really want your partner to, uh, to bid something. So if it goes double and he passes south, well, they could bid their diamonds, but I think they may well decide to bid their hearts. Um, they obviously have to bid at the three level here, um, but you know maybe that's a better choice than uh, bidding <coughs> uh, bidding diamonds. And if you do bid three hearts, then north will probably bid four hearts. Now. If, if South bids three hearts and West now belatedly bids three spades, it's a bit late because now they've shown their heart bit and it's easier for North to go on to four hearts here. And if, by the way, over four hearts, if West decides to bid four spades, then North should double that. Have a look at the North hand. I think if the opponents are bidding four spades, um, you know, you've got quite good... Um, tricks in clubs, and you hope you make a you know diamond and a heart. So you do well if they do bid four spades to to double that, and it would go down two. But that's probably the best you can do um, if they do reach four spades. Do interrupt me if you have any questions about this. I do. Yeah, go ahead then. Um, what? Why would you not bid three? hearts showing you've got five of them oh instead of doubling instead of doubling yeah well that's a reasonable option as well um the i suppose the double sort of says i've got support for the other suits as well mm. um so i i think three hearts would be a reasonable thing uh, to be obviously you're a little bit worried but you'll have a total misfit <laughs> in hearts <laughs> But um, yeah, I think double or or three hearts is reasonable. I think yeah. you should you should not pass the two spade bid there. You should take yeah. some action. So I I would, I mean another possibility would be three diamonds, suggesting five in the first suit and four yes. in the second. Yeah. But maybe yeah. a double is an alternative. But three mm -hmm. hearts is not out of the 
cake. Mm. Maybe the double shows that you've got not much in spades. Well, yes. I mean, it, it, it's definitely saying I'd please bid something. Mm. If you can't support hearts, then bid your best suit. Yeah, thank you. Any other comments? Do interrupt me. Yes, do I mean. Yeah. Um, I, I suppose it would be dangerous to bid two no trumps. Who? Who's going to bid two no trumps? For no. For oh, no. no I, de I definitely wouldn't because, bid two no trumps. Yeah. Because they've got, got no, no spades. No, no spades stop them now. Does the weak jump over call uh, imply anything about your losing trick? Oh, um, I suppose so. It's a bit like um, a week two, very much. So I don't know if this is a good example, but here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and a half losers. So something, um, uh, something you know, like seven to eight losers, I suppose, would be would be typical. Very much like a week two, an thank opening you. week two. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I think I think seven to eight is, is probably what your partner would think of. But you you don't really bid it based on your losers necessarily. But if your partner is thinking of raising you to game, then they may, um, and they have a fear, then they may want to think about how many losers you're likely to have. Yeah, I was thinking that if uh, East, if West had a void anywhere, they might just go straight to game on that. That that was. Yes. Well, yes, I mean, on this particular hand, West is eight points, uh, but has got quite a lot of losers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten losers. Too is, many um, losers on that, is, yeah. Is a pretty grim. But you, you do know that you have a nine card spade pit, which is why it's probably a good idea to compete to the three level. Um, yeah. If, if you can. <laughs> um, so, a little bit more about um, overcalls. Um, a double jump over call is always weak. So in, in normal bridge, even if you don't play weak jump over calls, a double jump over call is always weak. So something like one heart, three spades, or one spade, four hearts, that is always weak. But a single jump over call is only weak if you have agreed to play weak jump over calls. So you need to agree with your partner before you play this evening whether you're playing weak jump over calls. I hope you will, because uh, it's a chance to practice them. Um, but if you don't normally play them, then a jump over call is weak, but only when it's a double jump. Um, and if you make a double, if you make a weak jump over call at the three level, it should normally be a seven card suit. So something like this, if North has opened one heart, You've got six points here. You're too weak to bid two clubs. But if you've agreed to play weak jump over calls, then you can bid three clubs. Okay, so that's very much, if you like, like an opening preempt. Like if, if you were going to preempt in clubs as an opening bid, you would bid three. You could bid three clubs with this hand. But do take into account um, the vulnerability. Um, here, although you have seven clubs, you're pretty weak, and I think I might only um, make that um, weak jump over call if uh, I was non-vulnerable. If I'm vulnerable, um, there's obviously the ri greater risk of uh, uh, suffering a larger penalty, or uh, maybe it'd be better to pass here if you're vulnerable. So do take that into account when you're making a weak jump over call. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Yeah, now if uh, you're saying that mm -hmm. weak, uh, weak uh, call, over call, uh, one over call, or two over call, three over call is a, is a weak, uh, weak points. But if you have good points, suppose in your hand, what do you do that in that case? Okay, well, uh, obviously Tony, like Tony, Tony, it's Mohini here. You could probably um, answer two questions. One is what is the minimum point count and the minimum or maximum point count for a weak jump over call? Yeah, so well, you can do things together. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I if I th I think if I go back to the uh, very first slide here, I I said let me go back here. So um, so 16. a jump over call is 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 six to ten points. So 
very much like a week two. Okay. Um, and if you have a stronger hand, well, you, you'll have to think about, let me go back to where we were. If you have a stronger hand, then you'll have to think about what, what your hand is suitable for. Um, here, for example, if I was stronger, um, here I've only got six points. Um, but if I was stronger, if I had more like 10 points, then I could be two clubs. 15 so, points. 15 points. Suppose I have 15 points. Well, the 50, an overcall at the two level shows 10 to 16 points. Okay, so an overcall at the two level, a non jump overcall at the two level. So it's all in my uh, bidding sheet here, right? An overcall um, at the one level shows 8 to 16 points. Uh, an overcall at the two level uh, shows. Uh, yeah. Uh, 10 to 16 points okay so um so so yeah so so that so no an overcall shows without a jump shows a stronger hand um okay, you have decided with your partner that you're going to play in a weak jump big jump over correct right so that is how we decided but my good luck, I've got a strong hand with 15, 15 points and six cars. Yes. But then uh, I can't show to my partner to, to jump over call because we have decided to play right. the week over call. Right. That is what my question was. Yeah. So you would, you would either bid two clubs in that state, right, which is 10 to 16 points. Or if it you only had implies more... five, five cards, Tony. That's right. It doesn't show, doesn't show your length. It shows, it shows at least five cards. But it, it does not show your length. Okay, so you you can't have it both ways. Um, the you know you, you if you decide to play weak jump over calls, then on a hand where you wanted to make a strong jump over call, you'll just have to make a normal over call most of the time. But that's a wider range, and you're not showing you know that you've got a six card suit as um, as. Tony, Tony, yeah? would you would you not double? Yeah, if you had if you had more than sixteen points, you would gen you would start with a double. So um, again, if I just go back to that bidding sheet, it says with more than sixteen points, double first and then plan to bid your suit. So that's how you. Most people play that an overcall is limited to about sixteen points, and if you have more than that, don't start with a, an overcall of any kind. Start with a double, then you plan to bid your suit, unless your partner. It's a suit that you can support. So, anyway, any other comments on that? I hope I've not confused you. Um, I, I've just got this little table here just to um, summarize what different bids show when you're playing traditional jump over calls or weak jump over calls. Because some people get very confused about this. Um, so, the normal over call at the one level, say, for example, the opponent have opened one club. And you overcall one heart that shows eight to 16 points and at least five hearts whether you're playing normal jump over calls or weak jump over calls. that's unaffected but a jump here of one club hitting two hearts that's a single jump if you're playing traditional jump over calls that shows 12 to 16 points with six hearts but it only shows six to ten points with six hearts if you're playing weak jump over calls. But a double jump over call is always weak. So one club, three hearts, for example, always shows, um, uh, should always show a seven card heart to, and something like six to 10 points. It's like a preemptive opening bid, if, if you like. Okay. So, um, so those are, um, I'm just highlighting the difference between a, a jump over call, it's a single jump or a, a double jump or a non-jump overcall. Um, and if the suits were, as shown here, one heart, two clubs, then um, this is the same whether you're playing ordinary normal jump overcalls or weak jump overcalls. It shows typically 10 to 16 points with at least five clubs. If you make a single jump, though, this is the one that's different if you're playing weak jump overcalls instead of 12 to 16 and um, six clubs, you're showing more like six to 10 and seven clubs. 
and uh, a double jump over call is always weak. So four clubs as a double jump over call is always should always show at least seven clubs and a weak hand, typically six to ten points. So I just put this slide up just to highlight that it's the single jump um, bids that are different when you've agreed to play weak jump over calls. Your other over calls are all the same. Do interrupt me if you have any questions on that. I hope you're able to follow that. I don't know if that is clearer for you or more confusing for you. This is oh. by the way on the website. This, uh, this Excuse me, how easy to make these jumps? Is it quite easy to make these go games? I, I don't know what you mean. Means, do you think the person who is bidding can make the uh, 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 game? Again, um, to make the contract make the, yeah well the answer is um not always so um the the, the point is it's just like other preempts you 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 bid them um maybe you'll make them but maybe you won't um but if the, if you're not going to make it it's very likely being weak that the opponents would make something their way so it's as much you get in the way of the opponents as to um, make something, but sometimes you'll make your bid something and you'll be able to make it or your partner will raise you um, So they've got a good fit for you So as I was saying weak jump over calls are not alertable But if you're playing on BBO for example, you should include those letters WJO in your one-line system description and if your partner makes a jump over call you can ask sorry if the opponent makes a jump over call you can ask their partner what it shows. Is it weak or strong? And they should answer. Okay. What is this one line system description? If you play on BBO, uh, then you have a, a you put in a one line description when you come to the table of your system. Uh, so if you play weak twos, um, stamen, backward, you should add to it WJO if you agree to play weak jump over. Okay, okay, okay. Let's have a look, look at a few more examples involving uh, responding to a weak jump over call. Um, here, North has opened one diamond. Your partner bids two spades, which is a weak jump over call in spades. South passes. Um, what do you think you're going to bid here? Any suggestions? Um, it's four spades. Four spades. Oh. Do you think you're going to make four spades? Pass, pass. Well, there's double. 12 points. Your double. partner's typically got six to ten. You can't double your partner. Pass, pass, pass. That's what you might like to sometimes. Pass, pass. Yeah, I mean, let's think about it. We, we probably don't have, don't have game here because my partner's got six to ten points. I've just got 12 points. We have um, an eight card fit in spades, because my partner's got six spades, yeah. I've got two. Um, but we don't have enough for game. Yeah. So um, I think I'll just pass. Yeah. I think I'll just pass. And that might well end the bidding. I mean, if you do pass and it comes back to north, what do you think north would bid on this hand? Not Sorry? Not till pass. North will pass, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's very hard for North to bid anything um, because, uh, you know, you've got 15 points, um, but it's something you'd have to come in at the three level. So quite tough to bid there. And maybe you'll pass. Maybe that will be the final contract. Um, the computer analysis says that North South can make two diamonds or east west can make three spades so if you play it in two spades that will probably be um, quite good uh, results so you don't always raise your partner um, mm. in fact on this hand here um, you've got nine points here so your hand is a bit weaker but here you've got three spades so you know you have a nine card fit so this hand is probably more suitable for raising your partner, especially when you're not vulnerable and the opponents are vulnerable here. This might be a hand for you 
to bid three spades on. And again, you're not bidding that to uh, hoping to invite game or anything. You're just bidding it to get in the way of the opponents. And if North here has got um, a very nice hand here, I've given North a very nice hand with 18 points. But again, it's a little tough for North to find a bid here. Um, what do you think North might bid here? Double it. And what does a double mean? <laughs> double, you're asking your partner. I've got points and... Yeah. No Trump. I mean, it, yeah. Well, it, it's very hard to know. It, I, I mean, for, for North to bid, if they don't, if they come in with, um, if they make any bid, you know, they're forcing their partner to bid at the four level and they say bid three, no Trump. And it turns out that you can make four hearts here, but that three spade bid has really got in the way and makes it very hard for your, for the opponents to bid. The computer analysis says that you can make two spades by east or or four hearts or two no trump by north, but um, but that's it. So yeah, I mean if you double um, that sort of asking your partner to bid something, uh, they might bid diamonds, which you don't really want, or they might bid hearts. But by the way, the the, the weak jump over call has put the pressure on the opponents, and it's it's very hard for them to know. Uh, whether to bid or pass or or what to do there. Excuse um, me, Tony. I've yep. got a question. Go ahead. Uh, normally, everywhere it is written that to support your partner in weak uh, overcall or weak starting, you should have 16 points to respond. Okay. So, um, if uh, if, for example, my part, let's imagine that my partner had opened two spades because it was a week to opening bid. That's virtually the same here. Um, if I want to go for game, if, or if I wanted to invite game, it's seven you're, absolutely, you're absolutely right. I would need to have something like 16 points to go for game here. But here I am not inviting game. Here I am just raising my partner's uh, two spades to three spades because I have three card support, because I know we have nine trump. And even though I don't expect we'll make game um, or even make three spades, I'm doing it just to get in the way. So, um, so if you've heard that you should only raise your partner with 15 or 16 points, then that's incorrect. You should definitely raise your partner here um, on the basis of having three spades, especially when you're not vulnerable, because you have a nine card uh, um, Tony, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. In this case, uh, why does it West see the option of uh, of going to uh, two no Trump? Because you've got a balanced card. You want West to bid two no Trump? Yeah. I mean, what's... Why, why do you want West to bid two no Trump? He's showing his balanced hand, basically, and got enough points. West has got nine points. Uh, yes. So his partner's got six to ten, yeah. and you've got nine. So you, you want to bid two no trump, what, to invite game? Um, yeah, I suppose so. Well, you can't. Really. Well, you're much too weak to invite game, especially in no trump. And also you have a nine card spade fit. So but having said that, you've got two aces. You'd be, you'd, you'd be mad to be playing this in no trump <laughs> um, rather than in spades. So you've got a nine card uh, trump fit. Okay. All right. Fair enough. So, so, so no Trump, I think, will be a, a disaster. <laughs> North South can make two no Trump, but I don't think East West will be able to. Um, All right. Yeah, Tony. Yeah. So to do a jump over call, one always needs six cards. Yes. Yes. yes thank you. Not a five card so No, that's it. No. Okay. So it's very much like week twos. Um, let's just look at another example of um, competing against um weak jump over calls so um again your partner's open one diamond there's a two spade um weak jump over call and what do you think south can bid on this hand you've got eight points three diamonds three diamonds yeah i mean you're without without the over call you would have well bid one heart or supported the diamonds bid two diamonds 
that two spade bid has put pressure on you, and and now maybe you should bid um, three diamonds or maybe pass. I mean, three diamonds would suggest you're more like ten to twelve points, but your partner should realize that you might be quite pressurized and want to show the diamond support. So maybe uh, you might bid three diamonds or maybe you might pass. If you do bid um, three diamonds, then um, north will probably pass and that will be the end of it. And again, on this one, um, rather than let the opponents play in two spades, you would do better to outbid them and bid three diamonds, um, which can make the court use of the computer plus one. So south has to be a little bit um, a bit more competitive than you might want to be over a weak jump over call. Um, and maybe, you know, with a hand like this, you rather than passing, you, you'd have to bid three diamonds because you can't bid two diamonds anymore. Do interrupt me if you have any more comments or questions. Um, what about this one? What about one diamond, two spades? You've got eight points here. Any thoughts as to what you'd like to bid there? Uh, oh, two spades. Three diamonds. You see, whoever said hearts there, you, and then you realize, oh my God, I have to bid three hearts. Yes, I know. I made and, a mistake. Um, no, I mean, you, you'd like to mention the hearts, um, but it, it's quite difficult um, to come in at the three level. Three um, diamonds. What? What I suggest you do in this case is you make a negative double. Mm. Oh, yeah. a, ne a negative double here should mm. show the two unbid suits. Uh, in other words, I suggest you um, extend your range of negative doubles to be at least over um, two spades here to show the unbid suits. Now, your partner here is going to have to bid at the three level. so. You're a little bit weak for that, um, but it's probably a good thing as long as you and your partner are absolutely clear that um, yeah. it's for takeout. It's a form of takeout double showing some points, and typically it's showing four cards in any unbid major. And then if your partner had four hearts, they would be able to, to bid that. On this particular one, the way I've set it up, North doesn't really have... Um, uh, support for either of your suits. The double is showing the two unbid suits. Um, so hearts, south is showing hearts and clubs. North doesn't really have support for that. So what do you think North would bid here? Any thoughts? Repeat diamonds. Yeah, I mean, you you, you mustn't pass because they'll play it in two spades double. So you've got to find a bid. And if you can't support your partner's suit, maybe bid three diamonds. You're not happy about it, but you know that, that's the problem with these bids. They, they're getting in the way. And maybe you'll end up in three diamonds. Three diamonds. Um, the computer finds that East-West... Because well, I've never had one in bid. Well, th this is how a, well, how a negative double works. <laughs> when your partner opens the bidding, when there's a suit overcall, a double is showing the unbid suit. So that's the definition of a negative double. But whether you recognize it as showing anything specific, you must realize that it's for takeout. Doubles of low-level suit contracts should be for takeout, and you, and you mustn't pass. You mustn't let them play it in two spades double. So I recommend that if you play um, opening Please. bids of week twos, that you also um, play weak jump over calls. The advantages are mainly that they're harder to compete against, and also, in some ways, they are simpler because all jump over calls are now weak, um, whether it's a single jump or a double jump. Um, but it's important for you to realize that um, uh, over calls are only weak. Uh, these bits are only weak jump over calls as an over call. That is, for example, when the opponent have opened the bidding and you make an over call, not when you're responding to your partner's over. So if your partner opens one diamond and you jump to two spades, that is a strong bid, okay? Although there are people who play that as weak, but I'm not recommending that. I'm recommending just weak jump over calls um, here. When the opponents open the bidding, 
and you uh, jump. Tony, can I ask one question here? Go ahead. If uh, my partner opens one diamond and the opponents go to uh, one heart, then can I go three spades? No. No? No. <laughs> if I there mean, is an intervening bid, then also I cannot go. No, no. I mean, if you've got a good hand, I mean, I don't know what your hand I mean, I'm is. I'm weak. I'm weak, but with three, with seven spades. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, I mean, the normal bid would be one spade, and okay. then you would keep jump the spades. Okay. Um, I mean, if you wanted to, um, so so I, it would be confusing to to jump to three spades. It would, I mean, more advanced players would play that as like a splinter bid or something. Okay. Uh, okay a double jump as a responder. So so these are only over. It's only as over calls. Uh, not responding to your partner, even if there's been an intervening bid. And um, as I, uh, one final thing you may come across, some people play um, jump over calls as weak only when they're not vulnerable. Um, and I have come across that to, to a few people at Pinner play that. I, I don't recommend that. Um, I think it's confusing enough. To, another thing to try to remember that um, jump over calls are sometimes weak, sometimes strong. So I don't particularly recommend that, but you may come across it. Okay. Good. That's it uh, for the uh, uh, talk today. I hope you found that uh, useful. Um, confusing. Ah, uh, well, no, it's not confusing. <laughs> it's, 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 um, it, it's, if, if you play weak twos and preempts, it's, um, it, it, it's not it's not that confusing obviously but you have to consider how the auction will continue will Tony, i want to ask one question if you're, you're opener, my pa my Go partner ahead. my partner has opened is starting his opener and he did two spade or two hearts as a weak bid it as is a weak, a weak, weak as a weak yeah two, and yeah. sometime and some people respond to no trump what does it mean all right. Well, I'm not going to cover that here. No, no. Just how many points are there in two notum? All right. So, um, so the invitational uh, bid. There are different systems. The one I normally teach is that it's uh, asking for a feature, and it typically shows at least 15 points, and you're interested in game. So, uh, 15 shows, points. Yes, because your partner's got six to. 10 points. So you need a minimum of 15 points to be thinking about game normally. But okay. does it have different value in different uh, games? I don't know what you mean by that. Okay, all right. right. Okay, we'll end the talk there. I'm going to stop sharing my screen with you. And um, let me just stop the, whoops, happened there. Yes, I'm going to stop the recording.